Happy Star Wars Day everyone! Yeah, it's the Bowtie Guy and I want to welcome you on the Fortress Inquisitorious! Yeah, um, I'm not using Tala, the rebel officer who helped Obi-Wan rescue Leia. You might have known this uh, episode from the TV show. Um, there is no Tala figure, but Finn is very well equipped for this mission because I have his a costume disc, uh, which makes him a stormtrooper. Yeah, guys, he just landed, and since he can walk freely, well, I think you should see what the situation is here. Since uh, the fortress is a highly impenetrable fortress, with, which is heavily shielded, by the way, uh, Finn has to make sure that he's deactivating the three shield emitters so that Obi-Wan can enter the fortress from the bottom of the ocean to rescue Princess Leia. Well, and I think Finn should be more careful walking around. Maybe he sets an alarm and then his disguise is gone. So let's see. Oh, I knew it. It happened. Now they can see him. As the rebel he is. So, but, um, well, I've upgraded before I filmed this video, and, um, uh, yeah, I had a little bit of help because I'm not the best upgrader when it comes to Disney Infinity figures. Thanks, uh, in this case, to Lion DHD who helped me with that. Oh, and, um, just for you to know, I wanted to do something totally different. Star Wars Day this year. But then I saw a video of a fellow YouTuber, um, uh, that brown bad who made exactly what I wanted to do. So, and uh, Papa H uh, planted this idea in my head. He said, why don't you do the Fortress Inquisitorius? And I said, who? And uh, well, when we talked about that was uh, two months ago and um, I had seen the show, but not I think uh, that specific episode and I didn't know what he meant so I rewatched it and I said huh this could be very interesting well I knew it in the early stages of uh, actually these two toy box worlds I built for um, the Fortress Inquisitorius that this could be so much fun but a lot of work too uh, thank God for that. I started two months ago um, since I had my uh, big holiday break and so um, I was thankful enough uh, that I did all this work beforehand. Oh, and Papa H, thanks for that marvelous idea. Um, it was the best thing ever. So just for you to know. So, uh, wait a minute, I think Finn found the first emitter. Cool. And, well, um, I, I used those speech bubbles for the first time. Uh, <laughs> see, the DualShock battery is low. Too bad, too bad, but I played the whole night, I think. Well, um, since the toy box, as always was, um, sometimes uh, the logic didn't work that good so I had to bring in the speech bubble which says um, that the emitter stopped uh, sending their signal for Finn to find uh, a little helper you might know when you know how to edit this in your videos Ooh! oh no where did they did they get this? Is it Han Solo? Cool. Can't be. Or? Ah. The good Jedi send us a lightsaber. How cool. Oh. Oh my god. Finn, be careful. But now with the lightsaber? Shouldn't be that big of a problem, huh? Yeah, this building is quite high and um, 
I, I I saw pictures of it and I didn't know where to start exactly. So I started um, at the top, which was the easiest way to do, by the way. I right, see. It's the elevator, but it goes up to the control room. Where are the other emitters? Might be. Let's fin to find out. And since those little beacons, uh, which were planted with the emitters uh, by the rebellion, stopped sending, uh, Finn has to find the last two emitters all on his own. So no help here, but I think he can put his rebel training to the test now. Uh, yeah, this... Uh, I mean... In this base, uh, you saw it, um, there is a Han Solo in Carbonite. It's, um, let's say, uh, a collection bin of some kind, but you see about that later, because we have some collections uh, in this fortress, which might be horrible to watch. So Finn, um, I think you should um, hurry now that uh, Obi-Wan to rescue Princess Leia. Well, Finn, you must be hurrying right now before Leia is interrogated by the Inquisitors. So I think, but guys, so this must be the last one before Finn is um, entering the office of, um, how could I say it, Chief of Staff? Maybe. It's not exactly like in the TV show, but hey, um, let me have a little bit of freedom, because it's Disney Infinity. And the possibilities, and you see it here, are practically endless. Ooh, what did Finn got there? Ah, he can open the door with that one. Okay, okay. Ah, see? There's the next emitter. If you be careful that uh, when you don't put in the right code that there's an alarm again. So, but I think he knows what he's doing. I uh, see I talked about collections. Oh my god. A Gorn? Maybe a Star Trek Star Wars crossover? Who knows? But Finn, I think... I think, wait a minute, I think this is the way to the last emitter, so hurry! Uh oh Ah, come and clean is going online. Oh my god, this was, this is so funny, um, because um, I didn't see that those um, messages were recorded when I recorded this video for, um, for Star Wars Day, so it was just so funny to see that in here. So come and, come and clean, you will always be in my Star Wars Day video. Check out his video. I don't know if he's uploading this here, but you should ch definitely check out his channel. Awesome stuff there, like all the other content creators uh, who are uploading today. So I think... Ah, see, this was the last emitter. Cool. Now um, we can go to part two of my... Toy box today. So guys, and this is the submerged section of the Fortress Inquisitorius and my second toy box for Star Wars Day 2023. I found out about this when I researched for my toy box and um, the pictures I saw remembered me a bit of my underwater adventure. Um, so I said, well, this could work. And since this uh, fortress uh, in the TV show is sitting on top of an active volcano, yeah. well, oh, yeah, yeah. This part I took, by the way, from uh, from uh, the game, uh, which I don't remember the name of. Um, Jedi Fallen Order, I think it was. So I put a few things together from uh, different genres, from different platforms, and put it in one cool to- Ooh. Oh no. 
Oh no, 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 this is so high. Not for me, not for me, guys, but maybe for the Jedi himself, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, yeah. Hmm. There are a few things he has to take care of before he can rescue Leia. But since he's upgraded too, and uh, well, I played through this toy box um, so many times that uh, it looks kind of pro when I walk through those fights here. Um, yeah, I can tell you, I I've fallen off so many times from this bridge because this angle I used, I used it for the first time. But this was so much fun because you can see more of the surroundings. You know, it's this angled camera. Thanks for uh, Clinton, by the way. Uh, he used this in, I think it was his Star Wars Day toy box last year. Oh, the greedy cars, but there's a trick. There's a trick, Obi-Wan. I think you can... Ah, he can use his force to throw them off the bridge. So cool, so cool. Well, and uh, it's not exactly like in the TV show, but hey, it's the freedom you have with Disney Infinity. Haha, <laughs> he got it. Cool. Obi-Wan, you're a master Jedi. Oh, and all my sparks down there. Can't get them. Oh, Yeah, maybe later. But anyway, I do have enough sparks, I think. So, Obi-Wan, um, be careful. Um, there may be more enemies. Uh, there are maybe more enemies. So, um, there are a few key parts I wanted to use, of course. Um, uh, not exactly like in the TV show, but similar Disney Infinity Bowtie style. So, um, I hope you like it. Feel free to um, put it in the comments what, what you liked and what you didn't like. No problem at all. And I hope to see you um, on all the other videos commenting from the content creators who upload today on Star Wars Day 2023. Ah, keep going. Well, and... Uh, ooh... Well, what didn't work uh, that good at the end, because I had so much in the toy box, was well, the trigger area I placed inside um, the buildings um, to regulate the light. I switched between two sky domes from uh, the uh, Nemo toy box, um, but I hope you like it anyway. I think it gives it a bit of a creepy spooky vibe you might say so uh, but where did you go Obi-Wan Ooh, I think this droid is mad he's gone rogue and there's a door we can't open hmm but uh, let's see there's a radar marker Ooh, this is oh I know what it is let's see let's see Oh my god, that's the office of the Inquisitor! And there he is. What did he say? It's you? Too bad? Game over? I don't think so, Mr. Inquisitor. So, Obi-Wan, I think you should... Ah, he's taking care of it right away. So, wait, the other one. Well, I, I, I've, I've become quite good with fighting with Obi-Wan. My uh, go-to figure was always um, Yoda, but uh, Obi-Wan is quite cool. And what I used is his Light FX figure. You know where you put the figure, Disney, ooh, Disney Infinity figure on the base and the lightsaber is lighting. Oh... That's... is that what I think it is? Guys, that's a holocron. A Sith holocron. Obi-Wan, don't do it. Don't open it. 
Oh my god! What did you do, Obi-Wan? Oh wait. Huh. It opened something. Must be important if it's protected by a fifth holocron. So I think, Obi-Wan, we should go there. Wait a minute. A closed door? Huh. I think this can't be good stuff which is hidden behind closed doors, don't you think? Um, but uh, where do we go first? Uh, do we take door number one or door number two? Mm, let's see what's behind. Ah, that's the blue door which is hiding something which might help us with the terminal to use the elevator up to the fortress. So what's here? Oh my god, this is, um, well, I wouldn't say I'm a good swimmer, but I don't want to swim here, guys. Yeah, but since Obi-Wan is not only here to rescue Leia, but also to find out all about those creepy details and secrets about this fortress, he has to make sure he goes everywhere. Well, the most fun part about building this was putting in the lava and um, the smoke for the lava. This is the most satisfying because you see what you're doing, you know? So, Obi-Wan, be careful. I hope it's not some kind of experimenting. Oh no! I've just found out what they're hiding down here. This place isn't a fortress. It's a tomb. Oh my god. Even children? Wow. Well, it, it is an experiment of the creepy kind here. So, Obi-Wan, um... Oh, there are more? Yeah, go there, Obi-Wan, and look if you can rescue some of the good souls here, which I hidden away. And, uh, ooh, there's a cleaning robot. No! Even him? I can't believe it! Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's Plo Koon. Obi-Wan... You have to be quick getting out of here with Leia and run for your life. So, but first we have to see what's behind door number three. And four? Well, let's see what's behind it. Oh my god, look! It's the... Fist Dojo. Pooh, but, um... Well, what about, um... Uh, fighting a fight and getting a reward? Well, let's see. Let's try this out. So, um, what is it? Uh, enemy tech? Yes. Intermediate level. Oh, we can do this. So, uh, it's just a few robots, Obi-Wan. Ah. Oh, you have to get points for it. Cool. Oh, that's not too many. Ah, uh, but um, I think Obi-Wan is angry now that uh, since he found all the um, people and Jedi's and kids in this tomb. Oh, another level? An expert level? Oh no! So who's coming now? We can't see anything! Oh my god! Oh, what are those? Obi-Wan, quick! <laughs> the Yeti is in here. What What was I thinking about putting in a big Yeti in a dojo? But hey, um, it's changeable. And if you have any suggestions uh, what kind of enemies I should put in, feel free to put it in the comments. 
Ah, seven points. Excellent work, Obi-Wan. So let's see, let's see. Now I think, wait a minute. Ah, there is a reward after all. Ha, I knew it, I knew it. We could open that terminal. Ah, and this secret door. So Obi-Wan, be quick. Leia is waiting for you. Ah, come and clean is online again. Hello, come and clean. Oh my god, this is Leia. Obi-Wan, quick. She has been interrogated. Oh my god, but I think she's uh, she's a strong little one, so she can fight off uh, one or maybe two uh, Imperial Gods. So, but Obi-Wan, you have to get her out of here. This is a dangerous place for kids. We've seen it in the tomb. Or in the Let's say, collection room. So let's get Leia out of here and see if we can uh, get a ride off this creepy fortress. So we want a second now because this must be the uh, doorway which leads to the elevator uh, up to the fortress. A creepy, long and dark corridor, which leads to Toy Box number one, guys. So there's one place we haven't seen in this Toy Box, which is the um, inside part of the fortress, which I didn't show you, with a big red door. You know, you remember where Finn was at the beginning? So I think, but... Uh, Obi-Wan has to fight for his life now. I th there must be enemies in there. Damn. There. Wait here. I'll fight them for you. Yes. So many of them. Well, um, many of them. I wanted to put in many more. But since the toy box... Uh, grew so big um, I had to limit the amount of enemies I put in. I wanted to put in um, guards who walk on path but couldn't do it maybe in another video but I don't know about that yet. Oh, yes! Ha! You got it! Now you have to take Leia, and I hope the rebellion is there to take us with them. Oh, Finn might be there with uh, with a glider of some kind. Ah, see, I knew it. There are enemies. Enemies when you're just starting to win. Oh my God! But I think Obi Wan, you get them one by one. Oh, what's that? That's a snow speeder. He's bombing them. It's the rebellion to rescue Leia and Obi-Wan. Yeah, guys, and this is the end of my Star Wars Day 2023 video. I hope you like it. Uh, feel free to comment or like the video. And I hope you watch all the videos of the other content creators who upload today. Bye-bye, guys, and thanks for watching.